is not hunting for the faint of heart. And so it begins. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you guys. <laughs> Have a good time. You got your hands full. Oh, yeah. As long as he's got the bows, we're good. Yeah. And there's elk right there, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I heard of elk. All right, day one, we're, uh, we've got today and tomorrow for scouting and shed hunting, and then the bear season opens the next day, so gonna spend a couple days poking around and seeing if we can find anything hopefully pick up some sheds the plan right now is to get up to this bench here there's a supposed to be a pretty good trail that gets up in there camp up there for tonight and just kind of spread out and do a little bit of exploring today how are you gonna get across this creek we're going across it yeah <laughs> no complaining. What is it? It's cold. All right, go ahead. That hurts. Reason number 72 to bring Crocs. Lightweight wading shoes. Stocking up on water, getting ready for the first climb. So we're just gonna get a little bit of a head start and those guys are gonna catch us here in a little bit. But we're gonna try to make it up to this saddle, do a little bit of glassing, uh, probably camp up there this evening, probably spread out, uh, split up and spread out a little bit and hike some of these ridges, see if we can't find some sheds, hopefully find a bear down in one of these draws the green up is it's very very early so we'll just have to see see what we see doing good keep on trucking So you, when you when you come up to a a little rise like this, you always want to stop on the downhill side just so you can see a, a, a across the top of it in case there's any animals over there. You're still hidden, mm -hmm. and then just creep up a little bit at a time. So take a step, look, cut, look at all the country that you can see. Take another step so that you can see more country and look at that, and then just keep working your way up like that because if you walk right up on top of this thing, anything that's over there, you're gonna be skyline and they're gonna see you and take off. So we'll just ease up and just kind of look, make sure there's nothing out there. Just made it to the saddle. Koi's 100 yards behind me or so. But uh, looks like there's a bunch of elk right over here bedded on this, this hillside. This hill over here looks actually pretty nice and green. So, I think uh, probably this evening, one of us might head up this ridge and just see, see if we can glass some of this stuff, some of the stuff on the other side perhaps. But, you can see beautiful country. Here he comes. There's some mule deer coming across the ridge right here. Benji's pushing them up.
know, you can look at this country on a map all you want to and you just cannot understand the scale of this stuff until you come out here and start hiking around in it. It's just huge, huge country. Well, that's what I burned all the energy for today. Oh man, there's another one. Every time I drop lower, I see another one. It is getting dark and feeling cold and weather is coming in. So it looks like we might have some weather moving in. Temperature's dropping, wind's picking up, and I don't have any other layers. So pretty chilly up on this ridge. I'm just gonna make my way back down to camp. See if we can find a sheltered spot. Oop. Throw up the tarp and just chill for a little while. Do some glassing in the stuff that we can see. Looks cool. like we got the shelters set up right in time. <laughs> it's uh, just started raining. I thought I was gonna get wet out there for sure. I was like, that would not have been a good place to get wet either. No, I was not thinking. It was like. 75 degrees and sunny when we left and when we left this thing yep that's how it works out here so i'm thinking this is a gonna be a real nice spot to wake up and sit here and have a cup of coffee look out across this can't get this sitting on your couch So we got home cooked uh, elk fajitas and some uh, chicken curry done in the new freeze dryer. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff right there. All right, so we're packed up. Uh, the plan is to head back down to the river, cross over, and then Benji glassed up some elk over here that were uh, pretty nervous. They came ran running out of the bottom and they were looking back down in there. So pretty strong indication that there was maybe a wolf, maybe a bear, who knows, but there was something in there that bumped them. So I think we're gonna just drop the packs and just kind of get up on this opposite face and look back across where those elk were looking. See if we can't see something in there. And then uh, just work our way up river. So right up in here is uh, is where those elk, they were kind of looking back towards this face around this rocky cliffs here. So there's a nice spot right here to camp. So I think we're just gonna drop our stuff, um, just strip down to day packs and try to get up there on that opposite face and kind of look back, just spend the rest of the day up there looking, kind of glass up in that canyon. hours to go up and 15 minutes to go down in this shale slide or loose debris. It's pretty awesome. It's easy on the body. Just about 
too hot. That is awesome. Yeah. Woo. This is my kind of bear hunting right here. <laughs> I told you it'd be awesome. So uh, we had a nice soak in the hot spring there. Bryce and Benji are gonna hang out for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna head on back. Make sure Koi's still surviving. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? How come you got a fire going? Today's opening day of bear season. I think what we're gonna do is uh, pack up, head up river a couple miles to another uh, tributary and uh, see if we can't find some more grassy slopes to climb up and look at today, see if we can't find a bear. bunch of muleys right here. <laughs> it's amazing how they can just hop around in this rocky steep stuff. They were standing when I came around the corner they were just right here. How are you doing? When are they gonna stop? <laughs> Won't be too much longer. So this um all these long fingers, uh, grassy slopes with the, the timber and the draws. That looks really good to me. Might be worth setting up somewhere and glassing those slopes. That, looks, that just looks like a place you could see a bear step out. So I'm just gonna ease over here in the shade and wait on those other guys, see what they wanna do. You can see Right up here above us, there's some elk bedded in the shade. It's a nice looking spot here. There's a, some elk bedded up in the, in the timber. You can't see them from right here, but there's a little draw. Pretty cool. See how the roof's all black from soot? Where you had a fire in here? Idaho backcountry is full of tales of hermits. People that would come out here and just kind of run away from society and the world. And this cave is one of those places. Uh, I don't know much about the history of this guy, but uh, apparently he lived here for a while closed in the front, put a door on it. And this, uh, this cave is probably 10 by, 10 by 15. Scale of one to ten. Ten. Ten? A ten out of ten. Man, I'm good, good. <laughs> Day 
day four. It looks like we might have some weather moving in. Maybe catch a bear out feeding, maybe find some sheds, or maybe just explore some country. Benji and I kind of got split up a little bit. He's still down there glassing back some of this stuff. You see a lot of country from up here. Clay took the elevator. Looks like the weather is starting to close in on us. I tell you, it can change here so quickly. It could be sunny and 70 degrees, and an hour later, it's like 30 degrees and blowing and snowing sideways. There's some timber right up here. I might just slip up in there and build a little fire and kind of warm up for the bit for a bit we'll get us some more snow we get a couple of cups of water in us make some tea yeah would you like peppermint or uh, lemon zest Ooh, don't just surprise me <laughs> This is beautiful here. Pretty spectacular. I just saw a lion down below me. It's sneaking through the rocks. We got killer wind and it didn't see me. So we'll see if we can get, get a shot of it here. He was just coming through there. He's, he's gonna pop up on this ridge or, there it is. Yeah, we got him.
kind of headed down canyon. I think we're going to get on the back side of this. Drop a couple hundred feet of elevation. Just got eyes on that cat again. He's, uh, he's just moving across the hillside. We're still in the game. Not a very big cat, but it's a cat and uh, the, the eagle's just swooping right above it. It's just super exciting. So we're just gonna keep sliding down the ridge and see if we can't get, get in on it. make you look behind you. It's always the next time. I admire their stealth and their just how they flow through the landscape. It's getting that time of day now when the game starts to pop out. The sun starts to get a little bit low. There's elk and deer popping out of everywhere. of them again no. you know yeah. folks not realizing how good that is but man that's better than any pork you'd eat right there yeah and I would have loved to have cooked it up three times a day you don't see that every day no I mean we're in wild country and that's what you get when you come and play big looks like Koi's got us fire going Oh my god, look at this. See what you missed out on today, boy? Should have went with us. Day five. Gonna explore some new country today. Koi's gonna tag along. He missed out on the lion yesterday, so maybe we'll see something cool today. I'm sure we'll see some cool country, at the very least. coming over these ridges like this just get to see the country open up in front of you it's pretty awesome it's a herd of elk right over here on the ridge opposite us got snow right here we can make some water make some tea this is beautiful Koi's lagging a little bit but he's trucking along he's coming just slow Trying to push him a little bit. Back in the rocks, if you come down. Boy, you want to see some mountain goats? There's some sheep on the other side of this ridge here, though. It's not too far. I'm just, it looked like there might have been a decent ram, and then I'm going to ease up to this rock and see if I can't get some footage of them. Oh, yeah, that one to the right. 
pretty nice. Pretty handsome, huh? Yeah, he's a nice one. Wind is just howling up here today, so the video quality is pretty low, but amazing to just see these guys. Just having a big old time. Mm -hmm. The old guy, he can, I mean, he's just like a different color. I know. Ooh, it's like charcoal. Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> got an hour and a half or so till the sun dips behind the mountains it's probably gonna take us about that long to get back so Koi and I are gonna start heading down the other guys are gonna stay up here for just a little while longer it's a nice group of rams over here probably a dozen rams two full curls uh, pretty two pretty nice sheep over there just kind of playing king of the mountain Koi did great today. A little slow coming up, but that's to be expected. Got shorter legs. But he kept pushing and kept pushing and eventually made it up. Probably gained over 2,000 vertical feet today. So proud of him. I'd say most, most American dudes in their prime could not do that. That's sad to say, but that's probably the truth. Couple hours of daylight left and we've seen everything but a bear. Love to come back with the pack goats and do another one here in May or even beginning of June. So this may be uh, just the beginning of us coming back and looking for uh, for another bear later in the season. Yep, it's a bear. So we got day five, bear number one, and it is not accessible tonight. You don't think you can make it down there? No, I gotta have to drop 2,000 vert and then cross a pretty dang good river, like get wet, and then go up all the way over there. Another 1,500 minimum. So this is bear hunting in the wilderness. Uh, if you do see one, even getting to it doesn't make sense with a rifle. So if you think we're picking on four harmless animals, we're just torturing ourselves out here for a good time. But yes. Nice job. All right, now you get to see it. The longer you can be out glassing and, and stay outside, uh, even when it gets cold, just bring the right gear, the better your chances of seeing something are. If I could get up on top of that little rocky knob there, I could see all of that and I could see all this stuff back behind me and then up that draw there too. It's nothing but just boulder field and scree. We are nearly to the spot that I can see everything that I want to see and here we are yes beautiful oh man so the bear was back here the face that we were looking at but now I can see everything from up here I like this. I'm gonna sit here for a while. Whew. So Clay's up on top. We got great vantage point with him there. Um, where I'm coming to, I can see clearly where the bear was last night from down below here. So we'll just see if the bear shows up, if we can locate it. This is not hunting for the faint of heart.
don't think this is stopping anytime soon. I think we're waking up to fresh snow in the morning. Never saw the bear. Wind blew, rain kind of on and off, and uh, yeah, just never, never caught up with that bear. Anyway, learned a lot. Great exploration, great country. Um, super rugged, super remote. I'm um, just hoping maybe to see a wolf and or a bear again tomorrow. And uh, couldn't ask for any more. We hunted for one more day, but never found our bear. Some might be disappointed in that, but we knew the odds were against us from the start. But no matter, any time spent in wild country with good friends is a success in my book. We'll see you guys on the next one.